Okay, so now I'm gonna start to make a little bit space and I'm gonna start to control his, his, his uh, sleeve with my, opposite, with my opposite arm. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna control his sleeve with my opposite arm. I'm gonna start to control his knee here. And the reason of me controlling his knee is not letting him open his knee anymore. So I'm just controlling him and pulling to me so he doesn't, control, so he doesn't close the knee anymore. As I'm doing this, I wanna pull his hand out, but he's not, he's not gonna let him, uh, me pull in the hand because his hand is on the ground. So as I'm trying to do this, his hand doesn't go out of the ground. You see, and it's hard for me to pull it out. The maximum I can is do this. You see here, but I can't pull it out out of the ground. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna drop my shin, you see, towards his, his, um, towards his hip, and I'm gonna push him a little bit without letting him open the, the knee. So I push him a little bit, you see? As I'm pushing a little bit, his hand, it starts to get light. So as I'm here, look, I come and I push. Look how his hand goes light, you see here? The pushing is not straightening my leg, but like kicking, you see? I'm like kicking him to the side because I want him to try to post his hand backwards. So as I'm like this, right, and I drop, look how I'm gonna kick him. You see how he moved the hand backwards? But when he moves the hand backwards, he has like, in this, this little second that he's gonna move this, the hand backwards is when he's gonna take the hand out of the ground. So when he takes the hand out of the ground is when I'm gonna pull the hand to me and I'm gonna keep, keep, uh, keep the kicking. So I got to this position, I go low here, and I'm gonna kick. Look, he moves, and I pull the hand. You see how I pull the hand to me? So he falls, and then I go to the, to the top in, in one motion. 